So as you guys know, we built this bus so that we could explore the US and we could find unique new challenges to push ourselves. This week, we might have gone too far because we're gonna attempt to climb this mountain. This is Mount Katahdin and it's one of the most challenging hikes in the Northeast. The problem with this though is that we're not really experienced hikers. We're talking about a mountain over 5,000 feet tall and an elevation gain of 4,000 feet in just over four miles. But to push ourselves even further, we need to complete this hike in eight hours. Once the sun starts to set, it can really get dangerous to be caught on Mount Katahdin. A handful of unexperienced hikers with an eight hour deadline to get up and back down before sunset. What could go wrong? So the first thing we did is we started to research. Unfortunately, we found out too late that you do need a reservation to climb the mountain because there is very reserved parking. Luckily though, we have an inside contact with our good friends, Alexa and Jonathan, and they hooked us up and let us know that there is a way to get in if we get there early enough and enough people don't show up to fulfill that reservation. Maybe we'll run into you again and I can teach you a thing or two about Muay Thai sometime <laughs> if you'd like. Yo. <laughs> We miss you guys. How's, yeah, um, we miss you too. How's... Fingers crossed that this will work out. Wheels rolling. 4 4 Wheels rolling at 4:30. Oh. If I'm not gonna die from the hike, I'm gonna die that. from waking up early. 4:30, Tanner. How I'm you feel about good. that? I have a feeling that Tanner's still not gonna go to sleep at an appropriate time. Tanner, we're getting up at 4:30. Yeah, I'll be up. Take you out oatmeal, and it'll be in the car ready to go at 5 a.m. We'll have a big bucket of oatmeal. You're gonna bring it in the car? <laughs> yeah. Everybody get yeah, their get own spoon. <laughs> we're just all going ham on a yeah, big yeah, bowl eat, of oatmeal. Okay, so that's what time it is. We have to get up at 4 a.m. So we're gonna get about a solid five hours of sleep. Excited and a little bit nervous for tomorrow, but I think we're ready. We'll see you in the morning. Fourteen minutes from doing bad. How'd you sleep, Tanner? No, we were wrong. I knew it. There you go. That's what the people come for. Let's go. One spoon. Oh, oh, that's fine. Boy. I'm gonna morning, hi. Morning. Good morning. Archie, sorry, buddy. See you later. Archie, not sorry. I love you more. Archie, I love you more. Don't forget that. So from the campground that we were staying at to Baxter State Park was only a 25 minute drive to that front gate, so we made it right at 5 a.m. The problem is, a whole lot of other people had that same idea. All of the reservations already claimed. We're just hoping that enough people didn't show up so that we can claim one of those spots. But there is absolutely no guarantee that we are getting in this park today. That far as the walk is to the bathroom. Oh, it's like 100 feet. You're still pooping by 7 to 5. We're going to leave you here. <laughs> what time is it? I don't have to poop. 6.48. Oh, I got something right It's looking now. good. No way we actually made it. Oh, God, why is this guy turning around? So it's not close. I blame Laura. Yeah, somebody needs blaming. Good morning. No, he did not. Uh, Abel? I'm seriously freaked. I seriously freaked. wanted to go back home and curl up in a ball. Oh, <laughs> but you don't get to now. Just wait till we get to the top for the next Oh, video. I will for sure go time. home and curl up in a ball when we're done with this. If I even make it. With that mindset, you might not. You ready? No. I'm a little scared. But I'm gonna edit that part out. Here it is, the beginning of the trail. Why aren't you like that? And then she's like, oh, you can do it, Brie. <laughs> no. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> she just ran this face. What the heck is wrong with you? I literally want to die. <laughs> Look at all those rocks you have to climb. That's where we're going. It's still a ways off. About an hour and a half in. Of an eight hour hike minimum. We're all having a great time. <laughs> I'm having the best. Oh yeah, I'm here too. <laughs> this is the best time of my life. 
So everything started out pretty good. Once you get out of the forest, you're talking about bare open face mountain with nothing stopping the wind, all while trying to hike up and eventually running into these rocks that we had to scramble up. You're really proud of yourself when you make it. Just take it slow, just don't stop moving. They'll burn and they'll hurt, but you'll be okay. forever and you'll barely remember the pain. This was the spot. This was the moment that I thought there was no way I could keep going. My legs screamed and my tendons ached. I had given up. So close to the top. But I couldn't. I couldn't let myself down. I just had to convince myself to take one more step. And then another, and another. So I kept pushing, not fully knowing if I would make it, but dedicated to give it my all. I'm so proud of you, babe. It's 10.47, we started this hike just after eight. We're almost four miles in, and you can see the peak is within sight. It's about a thousand feet up, and a half mile. We're making it. Dang it. Almost there. Okay, here we go. About the summit. Mount Canatana. Katahdin. Mount Kimchi. Katahdin. <laughs> you did it, babe. I really am freaking proud of you. My legs hurt so bad. So we made it to the top of Katahdin. Katana. I think that's how you say it. I'm all curled up in a ball, tucked in the mountain, relaxing yeah. because I am so beat. I'm proud of her. She was done after mile one, and this is mile four and a half. Four and a half, half miles just strictly up. I've been thinking of that the entire walk up. That's hilarious. Yeah. Sponsor me, Mountain Dew. <laughs> so we only have two hours and 25 minutes to make it back before that eight hour mark hits. What the tanner? Look at that. Holy crap! You can see behind me, that's the top, the summit where we just came down, and actually it's a mile beyond that point. It doesn't even look real, like, here you go, here, this kind of brutal. Still working our way down, we're in the forest part now. And man, it's starting to take a toll. So I think we'll be like nine miles total, something like that. It was probably around mile six where even I was just completely over it. The motivation to keep pushing up the hill is gone. Your only motivation now is to get back to the vehicle to go home, which for me wasn't that strong. The other big part of it is your knees are now starting to crumble because you're going downhill. There's so much stress. And so it's still a struggle. Well, that's how long we have to finish the trail in eight hours. There it is, a minute and 30 seconds. So I am just ready to be done, if I'm being honest. That just really shows you like, how much of it was a mental game. Cause you just kept powering through like, I gotta say it's no problem, but you made it. Way to go. Way to go everybody. Dude. To be honest with you, really, like, this was such a challenge, and I'm proud of myself. So we didn't quite meet the eight hour challenge, but we did make it back before sunset, and that was the most important part. 
And I think what we learn from this is just how strong the human body really can be. For example, this was Tanner's first hike ever. Brianna, she wanted to give up at mile one, but she just kept pushing one step at a time. And it's just so impressive to see what the human body really can do, even when you're not prepared sometimes. So Bri, great job. I love you. I'm super proud of you. And for everyone else, I love you guys too. We will see you next week.